Friday, December 6, 2024, and this is the Washington Times front page. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. President Biden's pardon of his son's criminal behavior is just one step his administration is taking to block potential action from the future president. Stephen Diner reports the president's allies in various departments are rushing to spend allocated funds and lock in policies they think President-elect Trump will not favor. Every administration does last-minute maneuvering. Among the notable examples from the first Trump term was a Homeland Security memo that purported to give states a veto over major immigration policy changes unless they got 180 days to review it. Those agreements fared poorly in the courts when they were used to try to stop Biden's early changes. The embattled nomination of Pete Hegseth for defense secretary has President-elect Trump and allies working to hold the line. Susan Ferriccio and Kerry Pickett report Hegseth pledged he was not going to back down as he made the rounds on Capitol Hill, but accusations of sexual misconduct, drinking at work, and financial mismanagement, not to mention his inexperience, could lead Republicans to sink his nomination. Trump, at the least, is focusing on forcing senators to vote on his nomination to stop what could become a cascade of rejections of other controversial administration picks. Members of Congress and private defense experts warn American defense industries lack the capacity to supply the missiles and other weapons needed for a war with China. Bill Gertz reports the House Select Committee on the Chinese Communist Party recently held a simulated conflict that revealed the U.S. military would quickly run out of missiles and other weapons within days of a war. The growing risk of war with China was the backdrop for a hearing this week. Members and experts called for emergency measures to rebuild the American defense industry to avoid an armed clash with China. Retailer Petco confirmed that its store at the D.C. USA Mall in Columbia Heights will close on January 12th. Matt Delaney reports the San Diego-based company said the closure is based on an evaluation of its real estate portfolio. The statement didn't mention theft, but one local Petco employee said shoplifting has chipped away at the store's visibility. Mall Corporation Operator Grid Properties pitched the shopping center then as the cornerstone of Columbia Heights' revitalization efforts. And finally, lawmakers on Capitol Hill got their first taste of how the Elon Musk-led Department of Government Efficiency plans to work. Seth McLaughlin reports Musk and co-chair Vivek Ramaswamy made their way around the hill, flocked by staff, reporters, and security. The sentiment among fiscal conservatives and small government advocates to drastically curb spending feeds the excitement over the committee's efforts to upend the spending consensus in Washington. Find all today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or on the Washington Times app and find us wherever you get your podcasts. You can also find us on social media at Watch Times for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. For the Washington Times, I'm George Gerbo. Marketing is hard, but I'll tell you a little secret. It doesn't have to be. Let me point something out. You're listening to a podcast right now and it's great. You love the host. You seek it out and download it. You listen to it while driving, working out, cooking, even going to the bathroom. Podcasts are a pretty close companion. And this is a podcast ad. Did I get your attention? You can reach great listeners like yourself with podcast advertising from Libsyn Ads. Choose from hundreds of top podcasts offering host endorsements or run a pre-produced ad like this one across thousands of shows to reach your target audience in their favorite podcasts with Libsyn Ads. Go to LibsynAds.com, that's L-I-B-S-Y-N, ads.com today.